M-Test Summary The anti-malarian hormone M-Test is a blood test that measures the level of anti-malarian hormone in the body. This hormone is produced by the ovaries and is often used as a marker of ovarian reserve, which refers to the quantity and quality of a woman's eggs. The test is commonly used in the field of reproductive medicine to assess a woman's fertility potential. Here is a summary of key points related to the AM test. Purpose The primary purpose of the AM test is to provide an indication of a woman's ovarian reserve, helping to assess her fertility potential. Ovarian reserve Ovarian reserve refers to the number and quality of eggs remaining in a woman's ovaries. A higher AM level is generally associated with a larger ovarian reserve, while a lower level may suggest a diminished ovarian reserve. Timing of the test The AM test can be performed at any time during the menstrual cycle, making it more convenient than some other fertility tests. Age and fertility While the AM test is informative, it is just one of several factors affecting fertility. Age remains a crucial factor, as fertility generally declines with age, and the quality of eggs may decrease. Predictive value The AM test is considered a good predictor of ovarian response to fertility treatments such as in vitro fertilization IVF. However, it is not a guarantee of natural conception or the success of fertility treatments. Interpretation the interpretation of AM levels can vary among individuals and laboratories. It is typically measured in nanograms per milliliter annual. High levels may suggest a robust ovarian reserve, while low levels may indicate diminished ovarian reserve. Clinical applications The AM test is commonly used in fertility clinics to tailor treatment plans. For individuals undergoing assisted reproductive technologies are, like IVF. It's important to note that while the AM test provides valuable information about ovarian reserve, it does not provide insights into other aspects of fertility, such as the health of the uterus or the presence of tubal blockages. As with any medical test, the results should be interpreted by a healthcare professional in the context of an individual's overall health and fertility history.